This comment was left on a video that I made about the Jehovah's Witness organization hiding child abuse. You blame everybody, but the real problem, it's the parents who are the one responsible for protecting their kids. Can we have a heart to heart? Because this is a very weird comment. It's obvious that the responsibility is on the parents to protect their child. I do think that it's important we put the onus on the perpetrator. I, I want to get down to the get down. And I think maybe the issue between you and I is our definition of protect. As a Jehovah's Witness, you are to protect Jehovah's name above all else. And matter of fact, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, you are a Jehovah's Witness first and foremost, and a parent second. If your child needed to survive by receiving a blood transfusion, as a parent, a Jehovah's Witness parent, you allow your child to die. Is that what you consider protection? As a Jehovah's Witness, if you are a child and you have been harmed, you take it to the elders. You are not believed. Guess why? Because you have to have a witness to the abuse or you need a confession from the abuser. Is that what you call protection? As a Jehovah's Witness, you are forced to forgive your abuser. Is that what you consider protection? If you are so indoctrinated as a Jehovah's Witness on how to think, how to act, speak, how do you gain the skills and the knowledge in order to protect your child from dangerous people when you're not told that they exist inside of your organization or when those dangerous people occupy positions of unquestioned authority and power? So yeah. Parents should protect their children by teaching them healthy boundaries and critical thinking skills, all of which are lacking from your comment. Have a good day.